You know, here in Seattle against the Seahawks, the weather was gloomy, and let's be honest, so was the outcome. But in outside the huddle, we always try to bring you some sunshine, hence the sixth anniversary of the Saints Six. We've had fun getting to know these Saints off the playing field, and let's begin this anniversary with quarterback Drew Brees. You know, he may have been born in the late 70s, but we found his music taste is of the 80s flavor. You're an 80s music guy, right? Yeah. You like 80s music? Yeah. Yeah. Is there a song or a band from the 80s that really sticks out for you? Um, a, lot, a lot of bands there. There's a lot. A lot of one-hit wonders. There's a lot of one-hit wonders. Yeah. And so really what I am is like 80s on 8, you know what I'm saying? Like a- XM Satellite Good Radio. Choice, and yeah. it's just, hey, let's just, and you're going to hear 90% one-hit wonders, right? Oh, yeah. I don't really know if there's like a number one. Like My Sharona, just, you know, no, no, no yeah, one-hit wonders. Sure, one, yeah, sure, no? yeah, 8675309. I mean, you got, you know, all the, all those, they're good. <laughs> what, little White Snake. Wow, nice. Billy Idol. Yeah. Billy Squire, yeah, there you Billy go. Squire, wow. <laughs> Billy Squire reference. Your favorite late night snack. If you're hungry, you gotta have that favorite late night snack. What is it? Man, look at, look. as you can see, I'm not at playing weight. You know, I wouldn't go in there at all. Well, Coach Payton always gets on me. He tells me, hey, you need to get on the bike. You need to, you need to go run. He, so he's been on me. So I told him, hey, look, I'm gonna get down to a playing weight. But um, if it's a, it's probably the, the squeezed cheese into Ritz crackers. You know, that's my late night snack that I love. Is there anything that scares you? Is there anything that, like a spider or anything that, that, that you don't like being around? I hate snakes. Petrified of snakes. Not, have not run into them too many times in my life. We lived kind of in the woods when I was in Cincinnati, and I saw them a few times. Not my favorite things. Right off the bat, good answer. If you could play a position in any other sport and be the best on the team, what sport and what position would it be? Probably bullpen catcher in uh, Major League Baseball. I think that that might be the the best job in sports. Uh, You get to hang around the ball field and... uh, kind of get the best of both worlds. Not too much pressure and, and get to mess around with the guys. What's something a movie or a TV show you got to stop at every time and either watch the rest of it or eat, at least watch a portion of it? Phineas and Ferb? Uh, I'm sort of like stuck on this. I've probably seen every episode probably two or three times. Family Guy, American Dad, um, Adventure Time is like, you know, I'm sort of real serious about my cartoonage. Uh, not The Ordinary Show though, that's garbage. I think you covered all demographics and all age groups there. <laughs> most likely, most likely. I'm not going to do playoffs. People overplay playoffs all the time. Yes, I know you're they ta- do. Playoffs? Don't talk about playoffs. You kidding me? Playoffs? I know you're tired of hearing that. But do this for me. Could you use the phrase diddly poo in a sentence for me at all? No? No, that, to me, let me just tell you something. When, the day I said that, we couldn't do diddly offensively we couldn't make a first down we couldn't run the ball if I was embarrassed about one media interview or something I said in the media throughout my entire career that might be it right there I that bothers me I don't want to say it okay we'll, we'll end on a better note okay playoffs, okay so, that, that'll be it. interesting to say it's fans well listen you've been a great sport okay and I appreciate your time yeah whenever we can get the words diddly poo in an outside the huddle show we're gonna take full advantage we appreciate past and present Saints being good sports and the good news we have many more Saints six segments in the future that's the story here in our Saints six anniversary from Seattle Mike neighbors for outside the huddle